Resonances are often seen as a problem to fix, but why? Because most of the time they sound bad and don't resonate with your music. What if they could be your creative advantage? For instance, listen to this background song. I want to make these symbols fit in this background song. I selected a note which is the key of the song and I'm generating resonances based on that note specific. Okay, we're not done yet. There's a lot more to this plugin, so let me explain. Every octave of the selected note has its own channel that gets processed in parallel, like a mixer. This lets you control the overall tone balance and what goes through the soft distortion stage. The soft distortion will generate harmonic overtones based on only these resonances, which gives you unlimited control over the musical tonality of the distortion. The spice drive knob lets you change the shape of the distortion. Okay, these were the basics of this plugin and I'll show you more features when actually using the plugin, so let's start it up. Okay, I'm starting a loop and I'm entering audition mode, indicated by the headphone on the mix knob. And now I can hear only the things I'm actually boosting. I'm selecting a different note. And I can change the quality of the resonances. I'm changing the shape of the distortion here with the pepper knob and changing the input and output. Now I can mix it with the original source and I got a nice blend. And you can hear the resonances are pretty extreme so we have this tame resonance feature which actually reduces the resonances but keeps the harmonic overtones that are created by them. which results in a more clean and flat sound. Also, of course, when using distortion, you need to use oversampling because it gets rid of all kinds of foldback frequencies that can occur where you don't use it. And we have subtle mode, which is indicated by the blue look, which makes all the isolating of the resonances more dynamic and less extreme. And you can use this plugin also for a lot of other stuff. And here's an example. And there's a lot of room for experimentation with this plugin. So show us some cool stuff via Instagram at Garp Audio and I'll see you guys around.